store? What do you mean by that? How is that inappropriate? I've waited so much, so long just to get a job, and now well, Michelle doesn't want to hire me for that? Alex. I, I am livid now. I waited patiently. Alex, that's, that's not the reason. I said that she's not able to move forward. Like, I don't, I'm not giving any more hours with minor cuts. So I'm, I'm not able to hire and she said to just let you know if something like i'll reach out to you if something changes well but can you I'm tell me the terminology on that because now i'm livid that she doesn't want to approve to hire me okay i don't understand what you were saying uh -huh. I apologize, Q, I'm not mad at you because now I'm kind of irritated that I waited four years for a job and now she doesn't want to. Michelle, your boss, said it was, what they call it, inappropriate to call you at another store when I was expecting a call from you and I understand you were busy and you didn't have time to pick up and now she doesn't want to hire me? I, I don't understand that. I'm, I'm happy to explain. So, um, so you calling has not to do has nothing to do with the fact that I'm not able to move forward with the job offer. It has nothing to do with that. It's the fact that I don't have any hours to hire anyone. So I was lied okay. to. No, you weren't lied to. I said that I was able to um was going to move forward with a temporary position given the fact that the meeting with Michelle went well and not everything was approved for me to be good to go like i'm able to hire i choose who gets to be um like interviewed and um like i get to review the applications and like conduct the interview but she still has to give me the okay to finalize the process so i'm not having the okay because i don't have any more hours for my store it has nothing to do with the phone call Okay. So why did and, you, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I apologize. I didn't mean to interrupt. And yes, you weren't lying to. The I had the meeting when we sent over all the paperwork. All that was fine. I don't have any hours to give. I'm not able to hire anyone. It's not you. So the so background check sense. did clear? Yep. When I got back yesterday, um I I was not able to complete all of my emails and paperwork, but I did see the email for the background check coming back fine. When did it come so through? It when did it come? Team. If I'm asked, when did it come through, Q? I'm so sorry. I'm just so livid oh. right now. I'm just, oh my well, God. You're okay. So, oh, I'm so sorry. I have another call. So I just have another few seconds, but um, it came through on Wednesday again. I didn't get back until yesterday and I was by myself for the day. So I, I wasn't able to do any phone calls, any paperwork. I couldn't even, I couldn't even do my numbers. I barely got my schedule in for my, for the people that I do have. Okay, so especially that. So when you told me, or just about about a few minutes back, that Michelle called it inappropriate to call you, regarding my job why did she perceive it as inappropriate because i want i hate that little word that people think everything's inappropriate everything is harassment everything is creepy everything is whatever offended by people i want to know why she perceived it as inappropriate to call you for something that's important that i've been waiting a whole week you know i'm sorry q i don't mean to sound angry i'm not mad at you but i want to know why did she perceive it that specific thing to call you at another source inappropriate when I have no contact in any way because I'm right. I'm so I cannot believe she said you. that so I need to you to and I don't get that so uh, when we had our interview and I told you I will let you know Monday if something comes through okay nothing came <laughs> through I explained that I had to go and I would not be back for two days right and I do know that. that I would need to okay I would need to have a meeting with Michelle so I also explained that I would be unavailable for those two days right. and given the fact that something mm -hmm, given the fact that I was coming back on Thursday if that was the plan that and we were able to follow through with that plan if I did not receive anything then I would call HR 
busy and things kind of push the paperwork. And right. then I would call you upon me being back on Thursday. So the only reason that terminology was utilized was for the fact that it was explained prior that I was going to be out of town on business and that she interpreted it as that you tracking me down to another store. Well, that's not inappropriate, first and foremost. Second, but, second, um, you told me you were going to be there. And three, when I called... You, exactly, when I, on and, business. And, and three, first and foremost... Sorry, let me... I'm sorry, let me make sure I get this correct. So she's... First and foremost, you were the one that told me on Friday or whatever day you were going to be in Grand Island. That's one. Exactly. No, that number doesn't two. mean to call me, though. Alex. Yeah, but here's the problem. When I was promised I was going to get a call from you on Thursday or by Thursday, and no, and when you explained that you weren't able to do it at the time, which you had a valid alibi, and when I'm thinking, what's going on, I need to know answers because, hey, I've been out of a job for four years. I want to know what's going on. And three, she considers that is inappropriate because, one, inappropriate is these little people and now this, this era movement or whatever think anything's inappropriate, anything's harassment, anything's creepy, anything's uncomfortable. That garbage needs to stop because that's where the generation we're in now, unfortunately. And I'm not saying anyone in that specific movement has been raped or harassed or whatever. That is not inappropriate. When it's my job that I've been waiting four years to get a job. To finally get a chance to finally work again, and now your boss or all I of don't you, have the hours. No, it has nothing so, to do with So, and that. that's the thing. What, what, that's not inappropriate. What, and I'm not trying to track you down. That's not what I had in mind. But when you said you had to be in Grand Island for two days, and then it was three because you know Thursday, it was supposed to be Tuesday, Wednesday, but yeah, then so, which so you know Alex, what I meant. You but did call three, you did call three times, and Kayla told me. Um, each time you called, which I couldn't respond to Kayla either. I even, I wasn't able to respond at hello, all. Hello, because you said you were going to be back invested. Thursday and you weren't back. So that's why I called Grand yeah. And I said, yes, I do understand, Alex, and I know that's disappointing. But again, I did say that I would reach out to you and I, I was not avoiding you or making or trying to drag it out or give you false promises or anything. I pushed the paperwork through. I waited for the background check. I read all the paperwork checked out. And I said, as long as I get approved, the meeting goes well, that we can move forward. And unfortunately, I'm not approved to hire another person. And I'm not able to move forward. So, I so let me ask you this. So you're telling me I don't have a job I'm, now. I'm sorry. I actually have to go, but I will reach out if something changes, okay? Uh, can I ask you this? Am I employed or am I not employed? No, you're not employed. I'm that not right employed. there is is why I hate people who lie, and now I've been screwed over again. I don't like this inappropriate word for everything, and I'm sorry, Q. What your boss did was by far, by far fraud and now I feel like that I was screwed over because when someone hires me and then I pass a background check and nobody calls me for it and then when people say I track them down when you're the one that told me you're going to be in Grand Island for two days well that's a three off the point I need answers and when Michelle does that to think that's a inappropriate thing that is by far by far discrimination and that right there is so profiling Alex, as that, well. That it's has profiling. To do, Alex, that has nothing to do with the job offer. I don't have any hours. Well, so when even, someone hires I, me, even, that upsets Alex, me. And then now I get screwed over again. Alex, I pray. even if I ask Michelle, like, hey, is there any way I can still hire them and not give them hours? Well, then you're still in the same boat, Alex. Well, I don't, I'm not able to hire and give, um, and give any hours at this time. So again, I I'll be like able lies. to I was lied to. Because, but I, I really do apologize. I have to go. Um, oh. You take care. I'll tell you. I again, guess I won't now. Thanks, Q. Take care. And thanks a lot for your help. Bye-bye. Okay.